Hello everyone, it's Helder here. Uh, today I wanted to go ahead and review this uh, Lodge Dutch oven. Uh, I have been familiar with Dutch ovens uh, basically since I was a child. Uh, being of Portuguese descent, going to visit my uh, grandparents in the village in Portugal, there was just cast iron everywhere. Uh, I used to tease that uh, my grandmother was a witch <laughs> because of all the cauldrons and everything that would be in the kitchen. Um, and then through there, through my uh, Boy Scout career, uh, entering the Boy Scouts at 10, 10 and a half, somewhere around there. Uh, the troop had a bunch of uh, 10 or 12 quart Dutch ovens, also made by Lodge. And uh, I took to it and was hooked ever since. The uh, Dutch oven has been part of American culture before our uh, great country was even founded, uh, with the uh, Dutch settlers coming over here and bringing uh, the idea, so to speak, of their uh, oven and their cast iron oven. And then uh, we kind of uh, Americanized it, and uh, our cowboys came in and kind of... Uh, added certain features uh, that were needed uh, for their lifestyle and to accomplish, let's say, their mission of uh, surviving and feeding the family. And we have uh, the Dutch oven as we know it today. Now, some of the features of this uh, Dutch oven that to me make it a Dutch oven, if you go out there and search and just put in a uh, Dutch oven, you're gonna see all sorts of stuff that I would not consider Dutch ovens. Uh, first of all, it needs to be 100% cast iron, uh, preferably, uh, for me anyway, the only option would be uh, you know, made from made in the USA, and I'll go into more of the specifics on uh, the health benefits of that uh, later on in the review. But if you see here, there's this lip, all right, which is very cool, all right. So uh, what ends up happening is when you want to use the Dutch oven, let's say for baking, you want the heat to rise. So here's this great little lip here where we could add the coals on top so that it draws and allows the uh, the cake or whatever you have in there uh, to be able to rise. So that's one cool feature. All right, obviously you have this little handle here and I'll show you more of its uses later. There's another aluminum handle here, uh, which allows you to obviously remove it or add it to the fire or hang it from a tripod, uh, whatever the case may be. Once again, this is a 14 quart, so it's a pretty big uh, Dutch oven. I use it more so, of course, for our NTC members and always uh, being out there with a bigger group. Uh, so keep in mind, they do come in various sizes. So continuing here with the features, you can tell also on the bottom of the Dutch oven, there's uh, three little, uh, let's say, um, pegs or feet, all right, which allows it once again, if you do want to uh, cook outside of the fire and add your coals underneath, uh, those uh, three tripods, let's say, will keep them up. You can tell by my fingers, right, that it's not a... Uh, a clean process, all right? This is definitely something that gets uh, dirty, and I'll go into more on the handling and things like that uh, later on in this review. But keep in mind those are three tripods, all right, because a lot of Dutch ovens that I see out there don't have that, and uh, it's definitely a key feature that you're gonna wanna have uh, as part of your uh, Dutch oven if you decide to uh, add one uh, to your gear. So a few of the tools uh, that I recommend that I think are a must to have to accompany uh, your Dutch oven while you're using it in the field or even using it at home uh, to keep you safe and of course to uh, make everything as, as effective as possible so that you do have a uh, tasty meal uh, to be able to share and enjoy either by yourself or you know hopefully with your, your family. Um, so one of them obviously would be an oven mitt and a pretty decent one and uh, you know there's all sorts of different uh, stuff out there I go through them like crazy um, so you know just something to think about to, uh, to keep with you. Uh, there, just to add once again to your safety uh, while you're reaching in there, especially when the lid is covered with coals and uh, you know, you're reaching there with your pliers or you know whatever the case may be. You want, safety is always something that you want to uh, think about, especially as it gets darker out there and whatever. So keep that in mind. The other thing is a good set of pliers. All right, uh, just something once again, you know, relatively inexpensive. Um, you know, as long as they're put together okay, because you don't really need them for any kind of besides uh, removing the lid and uh, also turning your lid either, you know, clockwise or counterclockwise. All right, so just keep that in mind. That's something that we do utilize uh, a, a good set of pliers for, and obviously the longer the length, uh, the better it'll, it'll uh, bode for you. And then of course, there's our trusty e-tool to be able to get in there and uh, not only help prepare the fire, but also dig the coals out, whether you're adding them to the top, whether you're placing the Dutch oven outside the, the, uh, the actual fire and being able to feed it that way. And lastly, I have the, uh, the box over here in the back and that's where I store uh, the actual Dutch oven. So uh, when I do need it and uh, bring it out in the field with me, or once again, even at home where I use it a lot, just in our own fire pit, or even just uh, baking, you know, something right on, uh, on the concrete or whatever, using coals, 
uh, you know, once again, whatever your lifestyle allows uh, to get the more practice in and to get that tasty food. I mean, I have to explain to you that I love the taste of the food that comes out of the Dutch oven. To me, there's nothing that equals it. So it doesn't matter what I make, it always seems to taste that much better in a Dutch oven. But going back to the case, it was a custom case. Had a buddy of, uh, of ours from our tribe, uh, from an NTC member that went ahead and built that for me. Uh, you know, relatively inexpensive from what he said, but it's been great because as you could tell, just handle it from the outside, right? Where all the coal is constantly building up and everything like that. Um, you're going to get dirty, all right? That's what it's all about. Uh, so once again, having these proper measures like a case is going to help not, you know, to contain this and not spread it through the rest of your gear. A bit of the uh, health benefit. Uh, as many of you are aware, there's a lot of stuff and new scientific uh, things being, uh, I guess, discovered and tested and brought to light every day on uh, aluminum and what it does to the brain and causing Alzheimer diseases and all sorts of other stuff that we don't even know about yet. Um, so keeping that in mind, there's another reason to be very uh, careful what you do cook in. Uh, we spend a lot of money uh, trying to get very good quality food and healthy food. And then if we put it into a container that's going to poison that or add these toxic chemicals to it, then we're kind of uh, going backwards, right, and wasting our money. But now think about it. If you're using something like a Dutch oven, right, with the good steel that we were talking about, um, what ends up happening is if any of this goes or does seep into your food, it's actually a health benefit because the body needs iron, you know, so keep that in mind. You're winning in a lot of different scenarios. Now, if we're thinking about a preparedness uh, situation, I mean, the, the health benefit alone is something for you to consider being able to enjoy a meal, uh, let's say with your family or with your group or with your team in something like this. I mean, uh, especially in, in like we were like we're talking about a survival or emergency situation, the immune system is already going to be taxed so much. Uh, that we need to do these little extra things and if we prepare, prepare ahead of time we facilitate it uh, So that we could stay as healthy as we can so that we have a chance of accomplishing our mission or getting to safety or surviving until You know, whatever uh, happens next uh, So these choices that we make now are crucial So not only is it a community thing where we're all gathering not only is it one piece of, of equipment Where you don't need 50 different pieces of equipment to accomplish your task, but it's also uh, healthy for you All right, so there's a lot going on here that you should consider uh, and first and foremost, the taste is unbelievable. So if you've thought about adding a uh, Dutch oven to your gear or to your arsenal, hopefully I uh, gave enough information at least to pique your interest. But uh, once again, it's like everything else. Until you taste it, uh, until you work with it, until you see the ease of it, you can't really appreciate it. Um, so hopefully if you haven't been exposed to a Dutch oven, try to go on an outing uh, with somebody that knows what they're doing, that has a quality one, and uh, test it out for yourself. And uh, I don't think you're going to be disappointed, and I don't think anything that I've been saying in this review will be an, exa an exaggeration uh, once you do get to put it to the test yourself. One thing I forgot to mention also is that you can go ahead, remove this lid, and use it uh, pretty much as a griddle itself, right, just by throwing it on the fire. That's the beauty about this. You don't have to worry, and I'm one of those type of guys that doesn't want to have to worry about ruining gear or doing this or doing that. And I know that when I'm using the cast iron, doesn't matter what happens with that fire or what I might forget or overlook, um, I kind of have that forgiving uh, safety valve. All right, so once again, just one piece of equipment, a lot of versatility uh, with it. And a lot of it is uh, up to your imagination also. I mean, you can bury this. You can put it on a tripod like we spoke about earlier. You can use the top as a griddle. You can bake in it. You can fry in it. Uh, once again, it's, uh, it does it all. So I know like I sound, I sound like an infomercial, but uh, you know, once again, that's how much I do appreciate uh, the actual Dutch oven. And uh, you know, so many uh, decades of using the Dutch oven, it's really become uh, you know, part, of, uh, part of me and a very big part of Natural Training Center. So even if you were to pick our uh, members' brains you know, and uh, ask them about that, when, especially on their first experience with it, um, they'll pretty much elaborate on what I'm saying. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is, uh, for those of you that aren't too familiar with it and want to get your hands on a Dutch oven, uh, what I do have is a, um, a uh, tutorial on baking a uh, chocolate cake in a Dutch oven. And if you want to get your hands on that, go ahead and uh, go to this blog post. I'll put a link on there for you, and you could go ahead and download it for free. And uh, just to go ahead and get you started, something that I do offer to our members. We have a lot of information in our member area on the Dutch oven because, of course, you know, as much as I uh, like utilizing it and as much passion I have for it, let's say. Uh, so there's a lot of good stuff in there, but at least I could share some of it with, uh, with you uh, if you're not uh, one of our members yet. So uh, that really concludes uh, this review. Uh, hopefully you'll get a chance to uh, taste some of this uh, amazing cooking. And, uh, you know, once again, it's not cheap. I'll put all the specs on uh, the blog post on CoachHelder.com. And uh, if it's something that you've been considering, definitely take a deeper look. Once again, this is Helder. Hope you enjoyed this review.